Hello and welcome back to another DIY video. Before we get started, make sure you give me that thumbs up to help with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel in the bottom right hand corner. And we're going to be working on my Jeep JK Wrangler here in just a moment. So if you have a check engine light on and it is P as in Paul 0340, that is a camshaft position sensor. And I'm going to show you how to replace that here in just a moment. Some tools you'll need, just a ratchet right here. This is a 10 millimeter bit. This is the part that I just picked up from AutoZone. Just, I need it kind of quickly. And we'll get started here right now. Okay, so I'm at the I'm sitting on top of my bumper. I'm gonna try to zoom in so you can see it. That right there, my friends, is gonna be the sensor we're trying to remove. We're gonna push this down. Oh. So I'm sitting at the top of my Jeep right now. I'm on the bumper. I'm zooming in. I'm trying to get a better angle. So this right here, you're just gonna push this tab over. And we're gonna push and hopefully pull up smoothly without anything breaking, because Nice, all right. So that is off, perfect. Now you're gonna get your 10 millimeter nut and back that off. All right, again, just to, I'm gonna try to zoom in. I'm gonna back it off. I'm not gonna record it just because I don't only have two hands, but I'm gonna back this off. I already disconnected the harness at the top, so I'm going to take this nut all the way off. Let me zoom out. And put that somewhere where you won't lose it. Scoot that little harness thing over to the side. And that should pull right out. out of the way. I'm turning it around counterclockwise. I'm hoping this comes right off. I need to put the camera down, sorry. So it is pretty much loose right now. I just had to wiggle it back and forth, back and forth, because it's Obviously, I'm trying to be super careful because this would be not good if it broke inside. There it is. Now I'm going to compare it with my new one. It looks the same. Whoa, what was that? Uh, oh, there's like liquid in here. I don't know if that's normal. Probably not. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and put some dialect grease on my new one. Reinstall it and we should be good to go. Reset your light. If you like this video, make sure you give me that thumbs up to help with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel in the bottom right hand corner, and I will see you on the next one.